This video is an ultimate showdown between Alibaba's Quen image model and Black Forest Labs Kriya model. We will be testing both of them side by side on various text prompts to generate images. And here is the promise. I'm not going to edit anything. I will show you as is. Not only we will be generating various images, testing various things hands on, but I will also be sharing with you some of the comparison table as what exactly is different between these two models. So let's get started. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. The tool which I'm going to use for both is Comfy UI. If you don't know what that is, just search my channel and hopefully you should be able to find heaps of videos, especially if you're interested in local installation and how to run this model architectural details. Just search my channel with Quen image or Kriya model and you should be able to see a lot of videos around them. For instance, if you want to install it in Comfy UI, just watch this second video. And I have also shared a free Comfy UI workflow and you can just take it from there. It's very easy to follow. So what's first? First, I'm going to check out this prompt. If you are a regular viewer of the channel, you know this problem where we have this neighbor issue and that has made our lawn patchy. So the image is which we want is that lawn is patchy and worn with visible dirt patches and sparse grass showing the effects of excessive mowing. There is a man who has a sheepish expression is and is looking up from his mowing. In the adjacent backyard, a 27-year-old woman is captured mid-bounce on a large trampoline in bikini at the peak of her jump. She has a playful, friendly expression and is giving a casual wink. Now, the overall tone is hu humorous, but again, the thing is that uh, it is also testing the boundaries of the model. With seemingly innocent modifications, we are testing as how far model can go. Uh, of course, I mean, this would still be very, very safe within the limit. So let me show you what these models have generated. So this is the Kriya, Flux1 Dev Kriya has generated this image from that text prompt, which I just showed you. And now let me take you to the other one and then it, which I mean the Quen image one. And this is from the Quen image. Now, I believe that this one has captured more stuff from the prompt. The prompt adherence is quite good. Not only that, uh, it looks a bit more natural, but you see, I have also asked it that the uh, um, smile is goofy and then, you know, the lawn is over mode. Whereas in the other one, it's, it doesn't really look, uh, you know, the smile is not there, but still not bad, of course. So I think in this prompt, I believe Quen image has bit of an edge there. But look, you are the ultimate judge. So please also tell me in the comments, what do you think about it? Now let's generate another one and I will also show you the VRAM consumption of both models. In the next test, I'm asking it a beautiful 25 year old blonde American woman in enemy cosplay at a convention center. He has long flowing blonde hair. And then I am describing the scene here, as you can see. Now we are checking all the visual effects, some artistic imagery. Plus also I am checking if it is able to uh, handle the demographic uh, characteristic people in images and then how it deals with uh, original scene context. So let me take you here and then let me run this. Meanwhile, it runs. I'm also going to show you the VRAM consumption. So this is my uh, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM consuming close to just, I would say 34 gig of VRAM. Uh, gig of VRAM. And I have this Ubuntu card. I will just quickly show you my card here. Uh, operating system I mean sorry I'm just there you go so this is my machine spec for this one and it has already generated it we'll check it shortly let me take you to the other one and in this one my VRAM consumption is this here I'm using NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM and you can see that it is using more than 80 GB and this is the Quen image so Quen image takes more VRAM lot of VRAM of course you can use it 
in the lower precision and i have done this uh, in this video i have shown you how you can use the lower precision you can even fit it on 16 gb but in full precision you just saw that it takes a lot of vram also another difference is that when image takes around four to five minutes to generate an image whereas um, flux one dev takes just 30 40 seconds okay i think i was didn't move there so let me show you again my apologies okay i'll show you again that is fine so this is what i was talking about it is taking 80 gp of vram as you can see and it is still producing it so there you go so took around four minutes five minutes and this is a um, coin image model which has created this image and you saw that it took long time and more vram but the quality of image, of image is quite good it is quite a safe one too now it's an enemy one so that is why there is a bit artificiality which is expected in the in the here let's go back and check the flux one kriya so this is a flux one kriya i think this looks more realistic uh flux one kriya there you go so this is a flux one kriya my apologies i there's a bit of a lag but now you can see this is flux one kriya uh, which has which was generated earlier and you can see that this is more real more realistic whereas the other one is looks bit artificial but the background is okay what do you think other than that i think it has followed it quite correctly so let me know in the comments let's try out another one now another difference between these two models is that the Quen image is specifically trained on chinese text it write uh, it writes chinese text very nicely struggles with english a bit but still we will check out so the prompt is that a traditional chinese ink wash painting so my style depicting a serene landscape scene a solitary figure in traditional chinese robe stand on the right side of the composition and all that stuff so it is basically checking out um, the model's ability to recreate traditional artistic styles cultural elements and reproduce scenes with foreign language text and calligraphy especially so let's see how this model performs i already have started it and you can see that looks really good and this is flux one kriya and which hasn't really which is more you know good with english but still i think it has depicted that calligraphy on the right hand side pretty nicely if you know what this means please also put it in the comments if this makes sense otherwise i think the painting is quite nice as you can uh, already check out okay let's go to the another one what that one is doing i think that is still generating i believe so let's wait for it okay and interestingly enough i have tried many times but the when image fails to generate this image i don't know why but it just gives me the black and i'm showing you as is okay let's try out another one and i'm just going to give it the prompt and i will show you the prompt here while i run it so this is the next prompt which says a surreal artistic photograph of lotus flowers with vibrant paint dripping from their petals against a black background and then it's a natural paint plus more natural looking thing so i'm testing various composition and how the colors blend with each other while maintaining the spirit of the gloss and the wet appearance of the paint anyway so we will check it out but meanwhile let me take you to the comparison table very quickly so this table gives you a high level overview of what exactly is different between these two models now look if you uh, primarily to be very very fair they are a bit different models in terms of image generation flux one kriya is all about aesthetic precision in my opinion it's tuned to produce stunning photorealistic images that don't scream made by ai it avoids that overly saturated plasticky look a lot of models fall into and instead gives you the results that feel more like professional photography it is still not perfect by any means and we also saw that it's built on a solid 12 billion parameter rectified flow transformer and plays well with flux one ecosystem so if you want to customize thing maybe a good choice other than that quen image is more of a swiss army knife i would say it's not just about generating pretty pictures it's built for understanding and even image editing which will be released soon it does shine in its rendering text especially in chinese um, but 
other than that it also bakes the image naturally so it is also trying to avoid that plasticky look so these are a few of the similarity the thing is both uh, you know this one is a Apache 2 license coin image whereas um, flux one Kriya you would need to check what sort of license especially for the commercial purposes it's not that permissive as far as I know so if you want realistic generation with unique visual flavor still I would say flux one Kriya is slightly better in my humble opinion slightly very very slightly but coin image is almost there but if you want versatility maybe strong text integration especially Chinese uh, but at the same time you want your image to be very very good quality and Apache 2 license very whichever you can use I think coin image is not a bad choice so let's check out what what flux one Kriya has generated for this prompt there you go again you see how good that looks it's a paint there's a wet look definitely even on the flower very nice okay let's go to the other one and this is our flux one kriya what do you think i think this one is maybe slightly better you see so it's very hard to say which one is better in many of the use cases and definitely nothing can beat apache 2 license in terms of uh, commercial or personal use but you know do your own due diligence I'm very, very impressed by both of these models. Um, I hope that now this video should give you a better idea which one is good where. As soon as their image editing stuff gets released, I will be making another video. Until then, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the support.